Hi, um, I'm Melissa Cunningham. Um, I'm a former open water swimming world champion. I had hold two world titles in 94 and 96. I'm um, also a world record for a 24 hour swim. So I come from a really strong uh, background of, of endurance um, and swimming at a really high level. So in 2011, um, in early February, I was diagnosed with stage three um, breast cancer. It was quite advanced and it was in my breast and also in my glands. Um, so I went through chemotherapy, a mastectomy, radiation, and then I also had my ovaries removed for um, preventative so it doesn't, hopefully doesn't come back. So my life's changed a lot. Unfortunately, I wasn't living in Australia when I found my lump. Um, I was living in Singapore and had no health insurance and was on my way back to Australia and had to get all of my Medicare things set up when I came back and, and life got in way. I, I had a new job and I fell in love and um, met an amazing man and so instead of me going and looking after myself, I let life get in the way and if I'd gone earlier, my, my journey and my story would have been completely different. I'm doing some work with McGrath Foundation. One of the really good things about McGrath Foundation is that they make it so easy for you to put together a high tea to raise money and awareness and funds and, and that tie in between sport and women are, is such an important part and not only just women don't get breast cancer, men get breast cancer as well and um, I think that's an important tie in but really having that sporting background of, of getting everybody involved and, and everybody knowing about what's happening and that whole tie in of sport and awareness is, is a really great aspect of the McGrath Foundation. A lot of people think that when you have a cancer, being diagnosed with cancer is that it's a death sentence. So I really wanted to make sure that the people I worked with and the people that I was close with really saw someone strong and that you can get along with day to day life. And having that really great support network of, of family and friends and also um, work colleagues really gives you something to, to get out of bed on those days that you don't want to get out of, of, of bed for. But it's really changed my life significantly, I feel. My, my biggest message is that just know yourself and, and know your breasts and um, test yourself on the first of every month and, and really get an understanding of, of what's normal for you and if anything changes, definitely go and see someone straight away.